So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can make the BBC Microbit a bit of a music machine. Um, the sounds um, that you can make with the BBC Microbit are fairly elementary, it has to be said. Um, the quality of sound is, is fairly basic. Having said this, because we've got lots of inputs that we can use, we have lots of options. We've got lots of sensors aboard the BBC Microbit, so we can activate different sounds in different ways, which can make it really fun. In this session, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the BBC mic a bit into a little music beatbox where I can put my hands over it and it will make a lower noise and we'll take your hands away and in full light it will make a higher, higher pitch sound. Um, and in doing so, we can actually create quite a, a disco dance uh, type of contraption that's uh, fairly fun to use. All I need to do to start with is make it on basic. Um, I'm going to do a forever loop. And in that forever loop, what I want to do is um, I want to click on music. I want to play a tone forever for one beat. Of course, that's going to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, now, I don't want to play middle C. I want that to be determined by the light level. OK, so this way, when I, put, when I obscure the light with my hand, it will play a lower note. And when uh, it's in, when it's held up to a light, it will play a very high note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on input. I'm going to scroll down to light level. Now I could just put light level in in there. Okay, I could just do that. Having said that, if we just look in this corner here, the light level, even in maximum amount of light, it will only go up to a, a numerical value of 255. Whereas the um, if we have a look on here, you can see that the highest note actually in this range goes up to 988 megahertz. And when we're playing a note, which means that all of the notes, if I was just to put the light level in there, would be below a low B. That'd be um, really quite low sounds. And a lot of them may be almost inaudible to us. So instead of that, instead of that, um, what we want to do is just use a simple maths function to multiply that uh, light level so it's within within that range more closely okay so i'm just going to put uh, light level i'm going to put times three because that means that um, whatever the light level is it's going to multiply it by three and it's going to fit more neatly into that range of sound which is you know in, on the keyboard the amount of megahertz and that means that I'll be able to have more audible sound um, on my um, beatbox machine so I'm going to put that in there and actually my little program is ready for download now because when I increase the light levels it's going to play a higher tone and when I decrease the light level it's going to play a lower tone if you pop your hand in front of it and do a little dance you can actually come up with something quite entertaining Now, with all of the uh, music and sound functions of the BBC Microbit, there is no onboard speaker. So, as it shows you in the picture here, you will need two crocodile clips, which if you're working in a school, they are fairly abundant. And we just need to make sure that we clip them on to the end of the speaker cable, as is shown. I would just say a word... Um, to the wise that sometimes the sounds can be fairly loud so I always ask uh, people just to put the speakers around their necks rather than on their ears to start with until they gauge how loud it is um, but have a go at the little beatbox there and we'll see if we can extend this in a moment now if you've completed that project and you're thinking what should I do next there are a simple few adjustments and what we might want to do is take advantage of the other inputs that the BBC mic has now I'm going to click on forever. I'm going to use the compass bearing this time um, to change an aspect of the music. We've changed the pitch of the note using light levels. So I'm going to uh, click on here, set tempo two beats per minute. So the speed um, and refresh rate of this beat will, uh, will change. And I don't want it to change if we set to 120. It's forever going to go around and, and, and reset to this amount. Uh, that amount I want to be determined by, uh, let's have a look, we could do it by the temperature, we could 
to it by the compass heading. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to do it to the compass heading, which means um, as I get slower, as as uh, as I get slower, uh, if I turn my uh, BBC micro bit around, it will get slower one way, and if I turn it around the other way, it will get faster. And so um, I'll have the light levels controlling the pitch of the sound and the direction that the BBC micro bit is pointed in controlling the uh, speed of my music. So have a go and see whether you can use some other inputs in your music machine.